Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I'm a digital artist and photographer, and I've got a series of Photoshop tips and secrets for you guys. And uh, we're going to do this the entire month of June, one video every day, about a five minute uh, Photoshop secret for you guys. And uh, if you're interested in more in-depth tutorials, I do have them on my Gumroad account. I'll include a link in the description where you can access these. Uh, but these are much more in depth. These are hours and hours long. And uh, I go over several uh, tips and techniques for these tutorials. All of the PSD files are included. All of the stock images are included as well. Uh, but I'll make sure that link is in the description if you want more in depth Photoshop training. But for today, what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at the clone stamp tool and how we can create some very surreal and creative images. So go over to your left side, make sure you click on the clone stamp tool right here. And what that does, if you've never used it, it uh, kind of works like a brush. You can use uh, any uh, shape of brush that you want. You can adjust the size and the hardness and all that stuff. And uh, what that does is it lets you clone anything on the image. So hold your Alt key down on the image and uh, you can just select anywhere like this handle, for example. And then when you click that, you can start painting this handle somewhere else on the picture. And uh, it's a really cool tool. And uh, what we want to do today is create some kind of creative surreal image uh, using these tires. So I'm gonna create a new brush. I'm gonna make it a lot bigger so it includes the entire brush. Uh, the entire wheel, and I'm going to make my hardness about 90%, maybe about 80%. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my Alt key down, and I'm going to just go ahead and click this tire right here. Click. And now I have this tire on its own little brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, find a spot somewhere I can put it on this car. Now before I do this, I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. And so I can stamp this on a new layer and then make adjustments to this actual um, uh, layer with this, this wheel. So what I want to do is make sure that my shadows on the ground kind of lined up. So I'm going to put it about right here and click. And now I've got a stamped wheel right on this layer. Now I'm going to go down here again and Alt on my keyboard and then click this back wheel. Make sure you're on the right layer. And then so we have this as our brush. I'm going to go and create a new layer again, and I'm going to put this wheel right over here. So somewhere about right there. Make sure your, your shadows line up so it looks a little bit um, accurate. And then click, and there we go. We have a car with four wheels on it um, on three different layers. You can tell that it's not perfect. You can tell that there's definitely some issues going on here. You're going to have to move these around just a little bit. Uh, but the clone stamp tool, just in a couple clicks, has, has really uh, started you off with a very creative image. So all I'm going to do to clean this up, I'm just going to zoom in. And first of all, let's go ahead and work on this one right here. I'm going to just use a little brush tool. And we're going to just erase part of this layer, like right down in here. just doing some fine tuning, but the clone stamp tool has really done most of the work here. And let's go and get the other tire and let's go ahead and erase part of this layer as well. Just so it makes a lot more sense. And I think that's gonna be pretty good like this. I could spend some more time, you know, fine tuning this, but for the most part, you can see in just a couple clicks, we are able to uh, create this really cool picture where it's got four, um, there's four wheels on this image and then um, you, can, you can make more images if you want. You can make the tires smaller. So I could actually make these a lot smaller because they're on their own layer. Um, you can do all kinds of things, but just using the clone stamp tool, doing that alt on your keyboard and then clicking, and then you can uh, really make some, some otherwise pretty ordinary pictures. You can make them very much surreal and uh, really create some uh, unique and creative pictures out there. So I hope that you uh, enjoy using the clone stamp tool, play around with it, see what you can create and uh, make some really uh, fantastic pieces of art. Guys, that's all I've got for today. This is a really quick tip. Again, if you want some of those more extensive in-depth tutorials, check the link in the description and you can definitely get some more training there. But that's all I've got for today. Check back again tomorrow for a brand new Photoshop tip and secret. And uh, I hope that you enjoy this series. Until next time, have a good one, guys.